Good morning, Bickies. If you are new to Biscuit, my name is Tara, and Biscuit is the community that supports creative entrepreneurs and creative minds to get real about business and kind of fall in love with it, really. Um, so I'm here to help you do that. I haven't done these live streams in a while on this page. And um, it's funny how, you know, humans are so habitual, aren't they? Just the rituals that you have when you, um, before you do certain things. And every time I do live streaming in Bite the Biscuit, which is the community attached to Biscuit, um, or the Biscuit Factory, which is our private members group, or in the foundation, which is the, the program that we run, um, I always put on hand cream <laughs> and perfume. Always. It's like I go put on some perfume, put on my hand cream when I start the, the live stream, and that's the, that is the, uh, the the ritual. It's it's so funny. I'd love to know if you have a ritual. I so I think humans are just that wired like that, aren't they? On that note, I use. Uh, I have to show you this naturally at the wren's nest. If you can see it, see how lovely and shiny my hands are. Um, this is my go-to um, hand cream. I can't actually live without it now. Danielle, what are you after doing to me? <laughs> I actually start crying every time I come to the end of it. Ah! Anyway, we're not here to talk about hand cream. Um, I'm going to wait for a few minutes to see if some of you guys are in with me this morning. Um, hey, Angela, how's it going? Hey, Audrey, how are you? Hey, Eva, how's it going? There's a few people in. Um, so as I was just saying, I haven't done uh, live streams on the Biscuit business page in quite a while um, because of all the other activity on all the other places that Biscuit has created for different projects and different work. And I live stream a lot in those places. And I've just finished the foundation program with, um, with some students. And the one thing that I um, always teach is live stream on your business page because that's how you're going to get more people to see what you do. Um, so I'm a big believer in practicing what you preach and showcasing the results. So on that note, I took my finger out and went, Jesus, Tara, like you start streaming in the page as well. Come on, like, you know, I have to do this. So you're going to see me in here a lot more once a week there'll be a, a live stream on the Biscuit page with some goodies for everybody. Um, and, uh, and I hope to see you in here with me every week, if you can make it or on the replay. Um, and let me know in the comments how you feel about what you're actually hearing from me and any feedback would be amazing. And you're just conversation it's all about conversation gang and talking about the topics that are relevant to your to you as a creative and to your business um and to your work so that's why i'm here okay who's in with me this morning i said hello to audrey and a few of the others karen hey karen how's it going isabella hello hey aiden how's it going hey mal hey noel how's it going and Eva and Audrey said hi and Angela, hey, hey, hey. Um, I'm delighted to um, be in this morning. Um, okay, so what I want to talk to you about today is I want to talk to you about um, how to stay motivated uh, when, I'm just going to take that off the screen because it's a bit covering my mouth, I think, was it? <laughs> um, so I want to I want to focus in on <clears throat> how you're going to stay motivated when you just feel like packing the whole thing in. And I know that this underlines everybody's thoughts, even when you're doing really well and you're, you know, you're you're pushing forward and you're getting results and you're, you know, you're on that wave of that high, you know, that high, you all know it, right? It's that high of, yes, this is working. 
people are liking what I do, I'm actually selling stuff, I'm creating the community that I wanted, or I'm creating, I'm, I'm in the gallery that I dreamt of, you know, you're on that wave of high around, um, around what success feels like or looks like for you. And everyone has a different um, idea and a different vision of success. And I think it's important to know what that means to you, to know where you're going. Anyway, that's a different conversation. But, um, but you feel that high and and when that high stops and something happens and you're brought it's like a, a hangover like you know you're the next day you're in ribbons or you've come down from that high of of where you, you were a month ago and you can't seem to get it back and you're always chasing that high again um and you want that recognition or you want the press to feature you again and they just are not biting or you want more sales why aren't people uh, buying from you again or you just can't seem to get that back and that really hits uh, your motivation and your focus for, um, you know, focusing on what you want to do and why you're doing it. And I want to share with you three tips. There's a few different ways you can say this. Three tips, three strategies, three things you can do every day that can help you with that problem. Because no matter where you are in your business, if you're just starting out, if you've just decided to leave your nine to five job or if you're, you know, you're a, a mom that's going, OK, the kids are off in school or they've left and I'm at home and I want to do this. I want to create something for myself. I want a creative business. I want to sell my art, my work, whatever it is that you want to do, wherever you are or you're you're at a certain stage where you want to grow. You want to, you know, you want to hire a team. You want to expand and you want bigger, bigger. It doesn't matter where you are. Everybody suffers from this lack of motivation and lack of focus. And I have not yet met one entrepreneur in my 25 years as an entrepreneur. I have not yet met one entrepreneur that can honestly say to me, I have never wanted to pack it all in. I think it comes with the territory. So if you're ever feeling that going, I can't do this. This is a lot of shit. Like, this is too hard. You're not alone. Like, every entrepreneur goes through that. So don't feel like that you're not capable or you're not able to manage it. It's part and parcel of it. Why? Because it's hard. <laughs> it's hard because you have to do everything and you the, the book stops with you and it's really important to try and uh, uh, um, get that part of of your career of your lifestyle to support that motivation and that focus a lot of its mindset and self-care and I think most business trainings and most business mentors forget that this is one of the most important things for successful business owners because there's a person behind the business and if the person isn't mentally and physically healthy and strong then it's going to impact everything. So I'm going to share with you three things that I do that really help me with keeping motivated and focused. I'm not saying that I never ever feel like I want to pack it all in ever of course I do when it because it gets over over you feel so overwhelmed with the vision of what you want to do right and how are you going to how are you going to do it and that's overwhelming so it happens to everybody but for sure these three things I'm going to share with you will definitely help you and you can implement them today as in when this live stream finishes you can think about it change the way you're 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 processing what you're doing and it, i promise you it these three things will have an impact on you as a person and your business they come together and it's very important to accept that okay before i dive in i want to just quickly go through the comments to see um if i need to answer any anything and, and just to say as well um on these live streams and the biscuit page every week now um i love q a sessions and um sometimes i'm going to come in with a specific topic like this and other times i'm just going to hop in for a q a ask me whatever the feck you want 
if I can answer and help you, I will. I will share everything I have in my mind with you and my experience. If I can't, I'll tell you I can't. And that's the way I roll. It's no bullshit with me, lads. What you see is what you get. And I will do my damnedest to direct you in the um in direct you to someone or something that can help you from your question. So that's the way it works. Okay. So let's dive in. Now, what was I going to say? Oh, yes, I was looking at the comments. Hey, Miriam, how's it going? Um, Isabella, I'm exactly in the same position. Uh, Mara says, such a relief to hear you say it's hard. Oh, it's hard. It's fucking really hard, Mara girl. <laughs> it's so hard. Um, Miriam, hey, Miriam, how's it going? Your advice could not be better timed for me. I'm on the verge of packing it all in. Miriam, stay with me. Stay with me on this one, Miriam. Hey, Melissa Coffee, how's it going? Hey, Shawnita in Australia, how's it going? Hey, Sandra, um, Denise, hello. Kelly, how's it going, Kelly? Hey, Emma, Jean, hello. Jeannie Mack, there's loads of you. And hey, Martina Furlong, how's it going? I might see you at ArtSource, Martina. I'll be in running around talking to everybody in there. I'm looking forward to it. Great to see so many of you guys in. And Danielle, how's it going? Oh, my lovely new cushion. Yes, now. Can anyone guess who the artist is behind that cushion? <laughs> there is a question. This is, uh, hang on, there it is. I'm doing the opposite way. Can you see that? There it is, that cushion. Oh my God, I love it. So I'll, I'll let you guess who it's from. I'm sure you know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so comment below if you know who the cushion is from. Okay, let's get down to business, shall we? Okay, so the first, uh, the first tip that I want to share with you today is this. I want you to start focusing on the action rather than the outcome. What that means is usually when we're running a business, there's lots of different goals that we set ourselves. There's, I want to make more money. I want to get into the press. I want to build a community. I want to um, be recognized by the art world. I want to get into that prestigious gallery. I want to, um, to increase my customer base. I want to have more of an impact in the world. I want to help more people. There's always goals. So whether you're a painter, a photographer, a, um, a, um, a speaker, um, you know, in the holistic space, wherever you sit, you have your goals, right? Everybody does, right? And they can vary. And again, that goes back to what success looks like for you. Um, and what tends to happen, and I see this all the time, what tends to happen is we focus on our goals, right? I'm just going to use the example of money. Yes, I love talking about making money. Yes, creative people are allowed to make money. Did you know that? <laughs> Second, yeah, man, we're coming to get you money, like, <laughs> and it's okay to love money and want to make money from your art. There, I said it, and I get in trouble for saying it, but I don't give a shit because that's the truth. Okay, <laughs> let's focus on on the tips, Tara. Okay, so you focus on the action, not the outcome. So I want to make more money, Tara, and I get this a lot. How am I going to make? I want to tell you a story. I was working with a girl um, lately, actually, and she's a member of the Biscuit Factory. And she was saying to me, oh, feck it, like, you know, I'm on social media. I'm um, posting all the time. I'm, I'm following your guidelines with doing all these different posts. And, you know, I'm really, you know, trying hard. And here's the thing. Creative people, more than anybody, in my opinion, because we're so passionate about what we do and it's part of our lifestyle, it's not really a job as such, it's part of us. Like it's it's our being, we have to do this stuff for mental health, right? Um, I'm doing all this stuff, I'm working my balls off and we work hard, right? So that's not the problem. Why am I not? Why am I not selling? Why have I not still no money? Like all this effort, I'm not getting anything in return. And I sat back and I, I said, 
Hmm. Okay. Let's look at it. And I had a quick look over her stuff in a more in a more in depth way. And I sat back and I said to her, "You know, when's the last time you asked for a sale? When's the last time you posted a product or a service and you directed people to a sales page? What's a sales page? What do you mean? Sure, people can email me if they want my work. No." You have to make it really easy for people to buy from you, okay? And so what what I introduced to her was, instead of just you saying, I need more money, I need more money, I'm going to do all the social media stuff, why aren't they coming to me to want to buy my work? I'm doing all these things. You have to stop and say, okay, hang on a second. Um, If I want more money, what are the things I need to do in order to reach my goal? If you keep doing the same things over and over and over and over again, and you're not getting closer to that goal, there's no sales coming in. You have to not keep focusing on the outcome. I want my money. I want my money. You have to go back to the drawing board and look at your list. What am I doing every day to point people to give me money for what I do? When's the last time you reached out to your past clients and customers? And I have to emphasize this, actually. I know I'm going off on tangents, but that's the way my brain works. I can't uh, emphasize enough how important your past clients or customers are to you. They are gold to you. Why? Because they've bought from you before. They like what you do. They understand what you do. They've given you money for what you've done already. When is the last time you've dropped them an email, you've picked up the phone and said, hey, how's it going? If that is the relationship that you have with them, when is the last time you've done that? And have you ever told them about a new product that you're uh, uh, launching or a new service or reminded them of, you know, it's coming to Chris into Christmas. Are you on the forefront of their mind? Have you reached out to them? When is the last time you analyzed the actions that you need to take to get you closer to your goal? So instead of focusing on your goal all the time, wow, 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 it's, well, hang on, what am I actually doing? And does that make sense? If I'm doing the same thing over and over, it's not getting me the result. I'm doing the wrong thing. So I want to ask each of you today to look at that. If sales is your thing or if the press thing is your thing, whatever that thing is, and feel free to ask questions in the group. Um, uh, sorry, in the group, in the thread underneath the video. I'll, uh, I'll address them after the live stream, if that's OK, or at the end. Um, uh, Make sure that you you um, analyze that action list. And this is brilliant for motivation, gang, because when you just focus on the outcome and you're not achieving it, how does that make you feel? Like shit, because you're not getting closer to it. You're just focusing on it. I can't make more money. What's wrong with me? And what we do is, and I know everybody does this, including me, when I get into that zone, you go onto social media and you look at your competition like this and you watch them going, why can't I do that? They're creaming it. Look at their sales. Why, what's wrong with me? I'm not talented enough. No one's want, going to want to listen to me. Hello. Everybody does it. And how does that impact you as a creative business owner? It bashes your confidence. Your motivation goes down, 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 and your focus is all over the place. Because what are you focusing on? Your competition and the end goal and how you're not achieving it. You're not looking at your action list. What do you need to do to get closer to that goal? And then forget about the goal and just focus on each of those tasks that you need to really zone into. Okay, so that's tip number one, right? Focus on the action not the outcome. The second one, and this is vital, right, is get feedback. Now, I know this might seem very simple, and sure, I'll ask my husband, you know, family and friends, be careful with that one. 
What tends to happen when you ask family and friends for advice is they want to support you. They want to make you feel loved and accepted. And, you know, they might not really get what you're doing, though, but they will tell you you're brilliant and go for it. And that's great. But from a business perspective, it's really important to ask for honest feedback where you do that find a community that you trust um, and that you feel comfortable um, um, doing that in. I obviously would suggest Bite the Biscuit as one of those communities. But if you don't know, Bite the Biscuit is our free online community that we have on Facebook. If you're not already in there, I'd advise you to get in there because it's a great supportive space for even this reason only for getting feedback on what you do. You can either go in and ask specific feedback of your work or just keep consistently posting or showing off. We do a show off Friday on a Friday, showing off your work on a Friday. And the important thing is turning up, but watching and looking at the interactions and the how many likes am I getting? You know, do, do people like this stuff? Like, am I on the right track? Um, and even if you're just starting out, it's good to get feedback from people. Um, and why? Because it gives you the motivation that you're uh, actually being taken seriously, that people like what you do. And there's nothing more powerful than someone that you don't know saying, wow, your work's great. Keep it up. Well done. That's very, very powerful. And on that note, when you do get uh, um, a feedback like that, whether it be critical feedback, which I think is gold, because the more uh, people critique what you do, especially as in not your crap, <laughs> but, oh, I'd love to see that, but maybe you could do it at a different time. Or, you know, um, I'd love to see a blog post about this. Could you write that? Or, um, you know, the packaging maybe could be a bit better. You know, people like to help you. And that's really important as well when you want to to give motivation um, and give focus to somebody because it's very powerful for a human and especially creative people to help people and it's part of being in a community which I think can change our futures if we're a collective where if we're a community of creative people all helping and supporting each other and yes supporting your um, competition Feck competition, community overrides competition. It is a huge marketplace now. We can all sell online. Let's support each other as humans, as creative people behind our work. This changes the environment for us all to work in. And it's a very powerful place to be. So get feedback, but give feedback as well. And that will make you feel really good <laughs> it does when you help people it makes you feel really good so make sure you uh, give that motivation and that feedback to people also and uh, and that helps you focus in it helps you appreciate creativity and why you're doing what you do and it keeps you in that zone of positivity and that's very powerful when you feel like calling it a day that's very very powerful OK, that's number two. Get feedback and give it also. And number three, and this is kind of an extension of number two. I was at a, um, a, a talk there last week. Was it? I just have no concept of time, by the way. I just think there's no time. <laughs> um, I was at a talk. Uh, uh, these guys ran uh, freelancers. It was a great event in Dublin there last week, and um, there was a lot of uh, corporate um, people there, and and people from the educational um, sector and from the government, and they were talking about creativity and community. And then there was creative business owners who were doing really well, and they were on the panel. And a girl stood up and she asked this question: How do you keep motivated and um, you know focused? when you know you're not making sales and you're on your own and I know the majority of us work solo we're on our own and it's hard like to keep that focus and motivation and it was I was so interested to listen to the answers back you know a lot of the guys that weren't in business talked about in a creative business talked about how you know you need to uh, make you know be productive and manage your time effectively and all this 
stuff, right, that we all know, like, you know, you know, manage your time and like, you know, sit at the desk and do your stuff and make lists and blah, 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 blah. But only one person addressed the most important thing, in my opinion. And I actually stood up going, yay! I'm sure they were like, who's the nutter down the back there? She was the only one that stood up and said this. She said, the game changer for her and the most important thing that she did for her creative business was to surround herself with like-minded people again that comes back to community lads i can't stop talking about it i know i'm a bit obsessed like but it's so important surround yourself with like-minded people because here's what happens you're at home you're out with your friends from school or you know you're meeting your the moms from or the dads from um from your kids school at the gate and you're going so what do you do or you're at a dinner party you meet new people blah 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 and you say, so what do you do? And you're like, oh, well, you know, I'm doing this and I create this. Oh, yeah, great. Yeah, that's lovely. And you've, you've experienced it, right? Because I have going, all oh, right, that's nice. <laughs> they don't get it. They don't understand what you're trying to do. And what you tend to do is try to nearly compensate for it and explain it in more detail so they might understand it and it hits you so deep inside that you're scared to shit that you're not doing the right thing or that people aren't taking you seriously or you're just an artist oh your your eye is a hobby is it oh my god we've all had it like that hits us so deeply as a as the, as a creative community, because everybody gets it, um, unless you're attached to a company or um, a recognised um, 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 brand, or you know, it's really hard to nearly defend your space as a professional creative person. Um, and so when you're surrounded by that negativity and that and it's not even negativity it is for you but it's just a lack of understanding and acceptance from people that just don't understand what we're doing right when you take those people out of your brain and put people that get what you do that understand the vision of what you want to do and that encourage you to just do it stop second guessing just do it it changes everything and that is why i set up biscuit there was no bite the biscuit there was no community where you could go in and go yeah i'm going to make second cushions out of my art and sell them and do that and uh, you know and people go oh, no you like them auntie mary like you know no yeah come on do it let's go and let's support each other to do that there are no boundaries do what you want <laughs> strategize think about it be professional but don't ever stop the vision of what goes on in that fantastic brain of yours because we are so lucky that we're the creative ones and we have the innovation and once we are filled with doubt and doubting limiting beliefs we're fucked so stay away from those people that just don't understand and surround yourself quite closely with people that get it and that's tip number three for you today Jeannie Mac I could talk on here for hours <laughs> okay I'm gonna leave you today and I, I and I'm gonna hop in to and answer the comments after the live stream thank you so much for taking the time out to to listen to me today and uh keep creative lads and see it over and bite the biscuit if you um have not joined yet and also there's the Biscuit Factory. Um, if anyone wants to know more about the Biscuit Factory, which is our private membership community of seriously ambitious creative entrepreneurs who are just like, you know who you are, <laughs> really doing amazing work, then um, click the link above in the header. There's more information about the Biscuit Factory. So it's something to think about. Okay, gang, talk to you soon. Keep creative and see you next week. Bye.